Well, Uruguay is a fascinating country. Uh, in the last two days, um, what I have observed is a high middle income country uh, with a relatively small population that has a competent government and a population with a high degree of trust in the government and its, in its institutions. Uruguay is uh, uniquely positioned uh, in, in terms of its being a high income country and also it's a net contributor country to the Indonesian system. So in that unique context, we are here from the executive board of the UNDP, UNOPS and UNIFE to see by ourselves to learn more about the nature and extent of partnerships between the Indonesian entities on the, and also the uh, government of Uruguay. The Comité del Futuro me parece un ejercicio fundamental en una sociedad que está lista a dar el salto al desarrollo para determinar cuáles van a ser sus políticas de cara al futuro. Esta experiencia debería replicarse en muchos más estados. Uruguay has done uh, uh, significant achievements in many areas, socioeconomic achievements, and, but we understand that it has its own challenges and the multidimensional poverty my, uh, and other development challenges. Uruguay is a high middle income country that is facing the middle income trap. It has a very ultra low fertility rate, but also it has an aging population. This can be an opportunity or a challenge. And I think that UN is uniquely positioned to help this government uh, and this society, but also perhaps uh, to use uh, Uruguay as a laboratory to replicate the experience of Uruguay in other parts of the world. Uruguay has quite a good uh, future ahead of it. Uh, if uh, the government and the civil society are able to preserve this stability and with the help with the international community and with the help with the United Nations to address certain issues that are still there. Uruguay can be a leader in the world, not just in being a wealthy democratic country, but in a country that will invent a new form of economic participation, especially in the age of artificial intelligence. So we do need to change the UN to be relevant for that challenge, which is also an opportunity.